there are uh, multiple reasons why one might not be motivated to do something like they might be dealing with some sort of stress or they might have overworked themselves and they are burnt out or they are not choosing the right things that they want to do the things that they really want to do or they are dealing with some mental or physical health issues or you know they you probably fought with your mom or dad this morning and you don't feel like you know doing work today you know there are multiple reasons why one might not be motivated to do something and it's very complicated but in this episode i just want to talk about the reasons why i wasn't motivated you know like in the past i wanted to do something i didn't feel like doing it it just felt like blah and uh, you know I, i didn't do it so here are the reasons why i wasn't motivated so i'm going to draw something as usual and talk So there were multiple reasons there were many reasons actually why I I had trouble with motivation in the past you know but I could narrow it down to three things like three very specific important things which you know could have been resolved easily if I had the different mindset or if I had the right mindset you know to be honest so the number one the first thing would be not knowing the truth about motivation This my friend this is this is very interesting this this is a recent realization for me that motivation for a long time i thought motivation was a feeling you know it was just a feeling when i when i felt high about something then that means i'm motivated but slowly it sort of evolved you know that perception that i had about motivation or the definition which i had about motivation sort of changed and evolved over time and recently just recently i have realized that motivation is indeed a feeling like happiness and sadness and anger uh, or something you know it, it is a feeling but also a reason a sort of a reason for you to do things so it's not like you feeling high that's not motivation for me anymore at least i think we as a culture due to this all this youtube motivational videos this kind of this rolling out there we have sort of confused what exactly motivation is we think or we may have misunderstood that motivation is about like watching a video then you getting high and just going doing and something for the five next five minutes then all of a sudden that high drops like how many times have you watched like a motivation video on youtube and felt really good for like a very small all amount of time and after that you're just like blah like like nobody is motivated for more than a day after watching one of those videos right it it never works so i what i had to do was i had to separate motivation from the feeling to the reason starting to see motivation for for what it really is motive motivation means motive what's your motive if you murder someone you know the 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 investigators will be asking you dude what's your motive does he have a motive yeah so why do i want to draw because i want to create drawings and pictures and beautiful stories tell beautiful stories through you know whatever is that i'm doing which in this case i'm using drawing as my medium uh, to do that or to achieve that objective and that is my motive do i feel high all the time while doing that no not at all like not even close but it's a sort of like a fire inside instead it's like a little candle or a fire sometimes it burns really well sometimes it's just like a little candle it's like very dim you can barely see it you can barely feel it but 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 it's in there somehow right and i think you got to dig that up and how do you dig that up this is the second thing most people think including myself in the past i was thinking you know this 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 is how my thought went motivation i need to be motivated in order to do something oh buddy trust me let me tell you something this is the worst thing that you can do you need to be motivated to do something oh yeah i'm going to only draw when i get motivated or i'm going to only work when i get motivated yeah if i if i if i had did that i would have died broke 2 years ago <laughs> trust me <laughs> motivation is a result of action not the other way around so that means that if you start doing something then you'll get motivated but most people have it wrong you know the other way around which is i need to be motivated in order to do something 
that's how things things don't work like that in life if you want something in life in this case motivation you have to actually work for it I think it sort of comes from a place of entitlement, right? I am so entitled. I have to be motivated. I need something first, then I'll go do that stuff. Saying that you will only do something after you are motivated is, is sort of it feels entitled and I don't like that. I don't like entitlement and, and I just hate that and I see it everywhere. Like everybody is so entitled these days. They deserve something in life. Oh, I'm not gonna work for that, but I'm, I deserve it, right? Yeah, I hate that feeling. So yeah, these are the two things. A perspective shift when it comes to how you see motivation. Okay, the second reason why I think I wasn't motivated to do something or to draw or to create or to do work was that I had unrealistic expectations about motivation. That's number two. I think we all have this false sense of expectation that we all should be very happy and joyful and motivated every single day, yay! Uh, so I, I don't think that how that's how life apparently works so i was i was told by life is like nobody boy life don't work like that uh because yes i mean look i had this sort of weird expectation that if i came into work today and i dreaded work then that means there's something wrong with the work that i'm doing that means i should change that work man i'm not motivated about my work and i'm not fulfilled about my work my work doesn't feel purposeful you know it doesn't feel nice to me so what what should i do i should go for, look for something else but apparently it's like a common thing when it comes to anything like you know there there are high days there are low days there are medium days there are medium high days there are medium low days there, there are multiple days where you're gonna feel Feel great and we're gonna feel really really bad and you just have to go through all of those things and having an expectation which says that you should be motivated and happy and so fulfilled every single day about what you're doing all the time sort of places this unrealistic thing pressure on you a standard on you which you can never keep up or which, which, you, which you can never fulfill uh, I, don't, I don't know I don't, I don't know what's beyond me or or I'm just a young 24 year 24 not 25 I'm 25 I'm a 25 year old kid and uh, you know I, I, that whatever I'm saying only comes from experience for those who are probably older than me and have more experience than me they'll definitely know better but maybe they, they might agree with me on this point right you can't expect to be motivated all the time and that having that expectation is one of the reasons why you're not motivated you know it's just like you wanting to sleep you're just going to bed at night trying to put your head down and you close your eyes and you're trying to sleep you're trying so hard you have this expectation that once you put your head on the pillow you gotta go to sleep and yeah and, and, and when, when that happens you never go to sleep right that's how apparently one of the reasons I wasn't or I had troubles with motivation was because that I had this expectation that I should be motivated every single day all the time 24 7 365 or else I was doing something wrong and uh, I probably should change my work I'm not fulfilling my true calling I shall now go find that true calling and 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 yeah having the wrong goals yes that's number three you if you have the wrong goals in life you probably wouldn't be motivated this is like a very recent learning for me as well this, this is fairly new to me i'll tell you i'll tell you how i learned this thing so i was sort of struggling with youtube right making youtube videos you know i want to make youtube my thing i want to make these really nice cool awesome looking videos that you're watching right now or listening to uh but and and i wasn't motivated like every single time i just like open my laptop to write a script or to shoot or to edit or to draw or to animate or do add, you know, add effects and stuff you know i was very feeling blah that came from a place of me aiming too low because the only goal that i had for youtube was to upload every week that, that's the goal right like oh I, i'm gonna upload every single week and that's what i'm gonna aim for right and having that goal helps you to show up right like action gives you motivation but the problem was it didn't motivate me still 
you know i was doing the action it was motivating me first but i had the wrong aim the wrong goal which is once i shifted my goal from hey i just want to upload a video and just just uh, let my audience know that i exist right that was a goal once i shifted a uh, shifted from that goal to i want to do the best possible work that i want to do here on this platform i want i want to put in the best work i want to do my best i want to make every single video that i make the best as i you know as it can be i want to improve every single video i want to i want to redefine the genre that i'm working on which is i don't know i don't even know what genre is this but this is like a weird thing that i'm doing right and i want to redefine this i want to explore this i want to try something new like having that big vision big north star so that's the star which your compass is leading or pointing towards once i had the north star i'm i'm so motivated to make these youtube videos like i'm not motivated on a daily basis again difference but i'm sort of overall motivated i'm i just showed up today like usually after lunch which is right now you know right now is 2 what's the time 2 3:40 pm i'd be sleeping i'll be very sleepy right i'll be very very sleepy and I wouldn't want to work but here I am look I'm I'm giving you the motivational talk today my people yeah I'm I'm, I'm just I'm just making you fired up about <laughs> watching YouTube videos right so that's the thing that's the whole thing like having that north star like a really big aim which you may not achieve that's like a possibility and that's a very big possibility but you're still trying for it you're aiming for it right and you making that progress towards a worthy goal that is the key difference you should have a worthy goal and you should take action towards that worthy goal and that action makes you motivated if one of those factors wasn't there like you don't have a worthy goal but you're taking actions towards it you won't be motivated and if you have a worthy goal but you're not taking actions towards it again you won't be motivated so motivation is is sort of like a thing that you have to earn it's like the fire inside you i need to you need to add fuel to it through the way you think through the way you act and you know and stuff like that so that's that's how motivation works so these were like the three big reasons that i had trouble in the in the past about motivation i had like so much trouble about my motivation i was i was feeling so blah about my work and also another thing in a bonus stuff uh here about motivation why you, most people aren't motivated to draw or to do work right you're probably not skilled enough or not good enough in your craft to feel motivated enough about your craft this is a very key factor if you are a skilled musician and you're slowly making progress on a daily basis then more that makes you feel good then you'll be motivated but if you're a beginner and you have your standards set so high again ab- about unrealistic expectations right you you have your standards set so high and you as a beginner wouldn't be able to perform to that standards you will have trouble you know you'll have some sort of negative reinforcement every single day or every single time you put in the work instead of a positive reinforcement so every single time you sit down to draw something when your goal is to like improve a little bit today right that's your goal today if that was your goal you'd probably be good but if your goal was i need to be able to draw like leonardo da vinci right now I'm, i'm starting art today and man i've been working hard for the past 31 days and i can still draw like da vinci how dare you life right that's that's the most people are not patient jesus yeah that's that's the attitude most people have towards <laughs> developing skills and craft like you're probably not skilled enough to be good enough to motivate yourself so how do you so, sort of adjust that you lower your standards and work hard and there was a wise saying who said that this is like a really good saying i i think i said this in the previous episode right previous episode of the keshart show and i was like you're not defined by your standards but rather you're defined by your training something like that so your the standards you have doesn't matter <laughs> like really you, you want to be i don't care if you want to be elon musk like really <laughs> but what matters is do you work like elon musk today right now in this moment <laughs> that's what actually matters and if if you work like 
Elon Musk right now, right today, right? Then you are Elon Musk. No offense to Elon Musk, but you get my point. You have to be the thing that you want to be instead of wanting to be the thing that you want to be. So yeah, that, that's the fourth bonus tip right there about motivation. Now. So yeah, man, these, these are the things. These are the thoughts that I have about motivation. And of course, these are just my perspective. And yeah, but these perspectives might change in the future. But these are the ideas that I have right now today about motivation and why I'm not motivated and uh, stuff like that. So yeah, hope this helps you. Uh, start trying to look at motivation as sort of a feeling. Don't try to get too rah-rah and woo-hoo about stuff and just get to work. Things will happen. You just need to put your head down and work, man. Like, just, just show up, work, work, work. Do the thing. Be happy with it in that, in that moment because that's all you have, to be honest. Make your work enjoyable. If you feel working like that, right, all the time, then what's the point of it, right? I mean, make it enjoyable. It doesn't have to be easy all the time, but it doesn't have to be hard all the time, right? You just got to do your stuff, keep moving, and eventually you'll feel that sort of feeling that I'm feeling right now, which is very weird. I'm, I'm, I'm in a good place these days, right? I'm in a good place where I'm really excited about my work because I'm sort of aiming high. I'm making little progress towards my goal every single day, and that makes me motivated it's not a feeling it's not a feeling it's not feeling because it's not like happiness but it's sort of like a good little thing inside me that's sort of burning that is what you probably want